When it comes to studying the human body, hands-on experience is best, but sometimes it's even better to study on a patient that isn't quite alive. We have four high-fidelity mannequins that are controlled by a computer. We have two adults, we have Stan, we have Nanny, and we also have a child. And in June, we will be getting a female simulator that can actually give birth. High Point University will soon offer students the chance to dive into a seven-semester, 27-month physician assistant studies program. The graduate program is made up of clinical decision-making on real patients as well as mannequins, problem-based learning, and medical simulation. This is a place that students can take what they're learning in the classroom, integrate that knowledge and be able to clinically apply. The medical simulation rooms can be transformed into various settings from an ER room to an OBGYN room. While students learn on mannequins, others will be watching from a separate room. The fact that students can work on what's a very realistic patient, they can make mistakes and they can learn from those mistakes. It doesn't cost any, any real patient. Sekhan says that Stan here has the ability to emote multiple human responses, everything from crying to sweating. Students can draw blood from him, and he even has the ability to communicate. My chest hurts. I don't feel well. Right here in medical simulation is where they can put into practice some of the methods with new problem solving and problem solving in new situations. Again, absolutely necessary for the physician assistant. Sekhan says PA programs like this are crucial as the U.S. is currently experiencing a PA shortage. Here in North Carolina, there are 2,700 PAs, and by 2020, there is an anticipated need for 2,000 more providers to meet the demands of the state. In High Point, Elise McAlanis, Time Warner Cable News.